Hey guys, it's Arx here and welcome back to my channel. So we are back at it again with another Switch review and honestly we have a lot of uh, we have a lot of Switches to cover and to review so I do hope you guys enjoy it as I try to get back. So today we have another new Switch from Apple Maker. Let's all take a look and listen at the new Shadow Black Linear Switch. A very quick disclaimer before the video starts that the switches were sent by Apple Maker for a review but I wasn't paid to make the video and regardless of course I give you guys my honest and unbiased opinion about the switches. If you will be interested on the switches I'll place my affiliate links down below and shout out to Apple Maker. Let's take a look at the switches. The switches are from Apple Maker and it's a 5 pin linear switch. Now for the materials, it's using palm on the stem, PC on both top and bottom housing. Now it has a 53 gram actuation force and a 58 gram bottom out force with a 21 millimeter spring length. Switches comes in pre-factory lube and it would cost you around $12.99 for 30 pieces. So in today's video, we'll not be doing a sound comparison of a stock versus lube as the switches comes in pre-factory lube. For the sound test, we'll be of course, we'll be using a Vega 65 and I'll place my configurations for the board down below. Now before the sound test starts, please do keep in mind that the sound and experience will always vary depending on your keyboard build, meaning to say that it will sound and feel different depending on your board. Now, now with all of that out of the way, please do enjoy the sound test on the new Shadow Black Linear Switch. And that was the sound test on the Shadow Black Linears. Please let me know on what you think about them on the comment section down below. And let's have some quick discussions. Now, let's talk about my thoughts and opinion about the Switch. First, talking about my thoughts on the feel. The stock pre-factory lube that Apple Maker has never miss. It's just smooth out of the box and didn't feel like it was lacking and just consistent throughout my typing. Now, I really, really love the springs that they used here. 53 gram for the actuation and a 58 for the bottom out. It was just right. It was just right in my alley or my preference in terms of a linear switch. And it didn't feel light and it didn't feel heavy just in between. The 21mm spring length was also nice, just the right amount of snap whenever you type on them and just have that soft and subtle linear feel to it. Now let's move on to my thoughts on the sound. Same with the feel, the pre-factory loop was on point. I didn't hear any spring pings, scratches, and even leaf crunch. Can say that you can really use the switches out of the box without having to worry on the stock sound as it sounds really smooth with the pre-factory loop. 
Now for the sound profile, now it has that clacky yet has a hint of a little bit of deepness to it. I can say that it has a subtle linear tone to it and just in between of a clack and a deep sounding profile. Honestly, this is the kind of sound profile that I like on my linears nowadays, just a subtle and doesn't have that sharp or aggressive linear tone to it. Overall, I am really enjoying the switches. I've been using it for three days now and Epo Maker switches never disappoints and I kind of like this more than the Jade Blossoms and the Flamingos to be honest. And I really, really love the balanced spring weights and that not so aggressive linear tone to it. And not to mention the smoothness of the pre-factory lube or the out of the box experience was really nice and decent. Now, if ever you will be on the fence, I do suggest get one box first to try them out on your alphas. And if ever you like them, you can go from there. And that's it for the video guys, I hope you all enjoyed the review on the new Shadow Black Switches, and I hope you find it helpful. If you do, please don't forget to like the video as it helps out my channel grow. And what's next? Well, we have of course more Switch reviews to come, I think I have 10 more here, and some brand new boards, so please stay tuned for that. Again, please don't forget to like the video, share if you want, and of course, subscribe for more. And I'll see you guys on the next Soundist. Peace.